I was bruised and battered. I couldn't tell what I felt. I was unrecognizable to myself. I saw my reflection in the window. I didn't know my own face, oh brother. You gotta leave me wasting away on the streets of Philadelphia. Not cheesesteak. Check out my chili peppers. Wow, amazing. Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to another video. Cooking with Low CWL, if you don't know. Oh, trying to flow. Yo. Anyway. <laughs> uh, yeah, as you can see in the introduction, we're making uh, not not really Philadelphia cheesesteak, but uh, just the rice bowl. We're gonna say sorry to uh, <laughs> you know get your hopes up, but uh, you know there's plenty of people out there making Philadelphia cheesesteaks. Anyway, all I got is uh, simple ingredients. Of course, we got the rice. Let's make the rice first. One scoop. I'm actually eating it right now, believe it or not. Uh, I'm making this for tomorrow for lunch because I got my Yu-Gi-Oh tournament tomorrow. And it starts early in the morning, like, uh, I don't know, like um, 8 in the morning or something. So I'm not going to have the time to cook or anything, so bring my lunch, you know. Just a little bit of rice there, set him to get it. I'll let you see I got my thing right here there it is right there that's what it's gonna look like when it's done very tasty I'm eating it right now and I got my uh, hot coffee that's it but I'm, when that's the finished product so I'm gonna show you how we do it I got it was a last minute thing so I just soak my uh, Italian sausage and ground beef in the hot water yeah, let's get started. You know, I got a lot of stories. So, uh, like uh, medium, not medium, like low, low heat, kind of lowish, lowish heat. Put the pan out. Yeah, so these sausage they come in the, you know, they come in the uh, long or. Uh, this one comes in a package, so I split them up in like six six packages. Okay, so this is the um, that's the Italian sausage mile, and uh, and then we got the ground beef here. Just uh, nine, 92 uh, eight percent fat. So the less fat, the better. So we'll let that cook. Uh, in the meantime, come over here and I don't have the uh, sweet onions. Yeah, they uh, you know they have uh, they require sweet onions in the, um, the Philadelphia cheesesteak. Actually, the first time I had Philadelphia cheesesteak was. Um, uh, when I used to live in Atlantic City back in 1996, 95, 96, and um, yeah, I mean this guy named Greg Santo Dijia Santo or something, from Atlantic City, we uh, we drove up there and uh, I remember it was a two-story building, so there's some garlic, uh, like I said, I don't have any, uh, I don't have any, uh, I like lots of garlic, so, um, I don't have any, um, sweet onions you'd want to fry the sweet onions with the, the rest of the stuff but we don't have it so it's gonna smash some garlic yeah um back then uh, it was a I remember it was a two-story building and um I think it was like a pool hall or something upstairs and then a, a like a field like a Philadelphia cheesesteak bottom stairs where they make the sandwiches and um yeah that's the first actually that's the first and last time I had I mean, I, uh, I mean, other than like maybe like a TV dinner cheesesteaks or something. I don't know. Uh, you know, I, since I can't eat cheese, because even back then I was on dialysis, so I, you know I couldn't have uh, dairy products. 
so cheese wasn't my big, you know, my big food on the list. So I didn't see anything uh, too, too um, special about it. But you know, I'm I'm sure there's people that's like you know, die hard, you know. You gotta cut the ends off these uh, garlic. Um. So yeah, so that's that's where the idea is. But anyway, that's what I've been eating because uh, you know it's, it's pretty simple. It's pretty much just a rice bowl. Food costs so much money. Uh, yeah. So the introduction that's from uh, uh, Bruce Springsteen's uh, "Streets of Philadelphia," which um, it was in that movie uh, with Tom Hanks. He was, uh, you know, he had AIDS and uh, had Denzel Washington in it. And, um, you know, uh, that was in the 80s, you know, um, where AIDS was uh, didn't, um, didn't really, uh, people didn't really know too much about AIDS back then, you know. Um, actually, my brother, Kamala, uh, he got AIDS, um, he died of, uh, you know, of AIDS, so, a lot of his friends died before him because they didn't have insurance, and, uh, luckily his partner, uh, Edward, he, uh, he had good insurance, and, uh, so my brother, um, he, uh, he lived for a while, he lived till, uh, when I when I moved to um, Atlantic uh, Atlantic City, New Jersey, back in 1995, um, like 94, 95, uh, you know, it's only like an hour and a half if you ride the Greyhound bus. Cause I didn't have a car or anything, so I ride the Greyhound bus. I had a uh, I had a job in um, as a poker dealer. Um, you know, like and in a, on a, in Atlantic City at, at uh, Trump, you know, President Trump's, <laughs> Donald Trump, uh, Taj Mahal. I was a poker dealer, and um, yeah, and then they had buses that would come to the casinos from New York City, because my brother Kamla was living in the Bronx. I mean, not the Bronx. Uh, he was living in Brooklyn, and um, and uh, right around there, uh, we took him to the doctor, and because he said he had an eye problem, you know, with the um, his, he was having problems with his eyes, and then uh, we took him over there and finds out that uh, I didn't really go in. It was my sister Mani pretty much taking care of him, and um, you know, not until later. Uh, um, you know, found out that he had AIDS and stuff, and and that he had to get a home nurse and everything. But uh, it was me, my sister, Amani. Uh, we would switch. We'd have like around then. Uh, we both got jobs at the Taj Mahal. She was a uh, scheduling. She worked at the scheduling, <laughs> which helped a lot. She'd give me good, you know, schedules <laughs> to work. And uh, I would get like uh, she would get. Um, Tuesday and Wednesday off, and then I would get Thursday and Friday off, and then we, you know, what happened if you buy a, uh, if you buy a uh, Greyhound ticket from another uh, place, round trip, like let's say from New York City to Atlantic City, let's say uh, depend it, each bus like depends. It goes to Caesar's Palace or Taj Mahal or uh, Trump Regency or Showboat or. Um, you know, Trump Castle or whatever casino, uh, uh, the Grand, um, you know, whichever casino they have different refunds. So the 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 tickets would be like um, around most the most expensive would be like twenty five bucks. This is nineteen ninety five, okay, for Greyhound from New York City to Atlantic City. It was a round trip uh, for like twenty five max, and then. Some casino would give you, you know, uh, almost all the way back. I mean, I remember uh, some casino would give you like, 
um, I don't know, uh, $20 or whatever, in quarters. Back then it was cool because you can use quarters in a slot machine, right? So, what happened was, um, you would, uh, my sister Mani would buy a one-way ticket on Tuesday to go see my brother, Kamla. And then on Wednesday, when she comes back, she buys a full price ticket, right? And then she would get quarters from the casino. And we'd use that quarter to wash our clothes, right? Use that to uh, wash our clothes. Because we live in an apartment, okay? And uh, then she would give me that other ticket to go back. And I would use that to go back on Thursday. <clears throat> which is free because, you know, that's her ticket. And then Friday, uh, it was cool because my brother Kamala would give, give, give us money, or me anyway, to buy the ticket coming back. So he gives me, you know, like 40 bucks or whatever, and I buy a full round ticket for, let's say, 25 bucks. And then um, I get like $20 refund from the casino. So now we have another $20 in quarters. But you know how it is, I'm not going to lie to you. You know, there's a reason why they give you that. Because in order to go get that voucher, you have to walk through the whole casino all the way to the back of where the cashier is. You give them the voucher and then they give you the quarters. And then on the way back to go out to the exit, there's like all these slot machines that, well, guess what? You can use your quarters. Yeah, most of the times, as you know, as weak humans as we are, uh, we give in to, you know, flashy lights and stuff like that, you know. Um, so, most of the time we just end up thinking, oh, I might be that jackpot puller. So, end up, you know, putting the quarters back into the machines. So, that's how it works, you know. So, uh, that's how it works because, you know. That's how casino works. Then we like that car. I forgot one more piece here. We got to chop up. So yeah, that's the story. And um, the reason I'm telling you about my brother having AIDS and all that, and with the Streets of Philadelphia song, it kind of works together. If you've seen the movie, you know, uh, Philadelphia with uh, with Tom Hanks. If you haven't seen it, you, you should go watch it. It's a good, it's a very 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 awesome, you know movie about you know how uh, you know there's still races these days whether you have a, a disease or whatever especially with people that are uneducated so so I'll give you an example um, One time we, uh, we went, we, uh, me and my wife Terry, we were living in, uh, in Florida, and, uh, renting this room from a, uh, uh, these, uh, Thai, these Thai family, and they had these, these, uh, these people living in there, they were like, you know, these, like, uh, single Thai dudes that come over here and they work in a restaurant and stuff like that, they work in a sushi restaurant. They were cool, they were, you know, just a uh, typical dude, they were cool, we got along with them and everything, but um, back then I was on a, uh, I was on a peritoneal dialysis, which is a uh, home dialysis, and I would have all my uh, chemicals there, and then, uh, so, so I used to, so I used to have this, uh, see this scar here in my stomach? There used to be a tube hanging out, like a straw here. See, I used to have a tube hanging out like this, right? That's why I did the, my dialysis. Um, that's how the home dialysis works with, uh, through your stomach. So we rented this uh, room with these people. And these guys would know, you know, they were like refugees, you know, I mean, I know how a refugee is, you know, they have a bunch of beds sitting out, um, 
you know, like on the floor and everything. And and uh, anyway, um, they would have they have their, their girlfriends or whoever you know they met at the bar or they'll come over and sleep and stuff. And um, so I got a bunch of uh, chemicals that they, that they deliver to my house or to where we live, where we're staying, and um. And that house was dirty, man. The 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 refrigerator was like um, mildew everywhere, and uh, the stove was dirty. Um, the bathroom had moles everywhere, and I, I cleaned all that stuff up. Like made it as best we can. It was an emergency. I mean, we got evicted. You know, just back in two thousand, like around two thousand nine, uh, we got evicted and had no place to go and. Well, I haven't went to see my sister and it didn't work out so you know we got kicked out and that was the last resort we had so since I was getting disability once a month uh, we didn't have money to for me and my wife to uh, buy tickets to you know come back here to California because I had to wait for a whole month to get my check so we stayed there for so anyway uh, so for some reason, they uh, one of the girls that that they brought over was uh, brainwashed. Not brainwashed, but you know, like I said, uneducated. So they had they didn't know anything about um, you know kidney disease. So they thought it was like contagious, right? Because the girl told told these guys, oh, you know, you shouldn't stay there because, you know, you can get, uh, you know, you can get, it's contagious and you could die, blah, 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 from the allergies, right? I mean, that just goes back to uneducation and uh, prejudice. So me and my wife, we came back from, uh, we went somewhere, we went out and we came back home. And the next thing we know, it was like they all moved out. It was a three-bedroom house. It was cool, we got a whole house to ourselves, so, I mean, but luckily we only stayed there for like three weeks, and um, you know, so this is good, we're just gonna turn that off. And uh, that's the rice, so I already got the finished products over there, and let's go back to the table, and go talk over there. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I already made it, so. That's what it looks like. <laughs> I know it's half-assed, but you, you guys know. You come here for the stories, right? More than anything. So uh, we stayed there till like the end of uh, um, I think the end of uh, January. And then we moved back here to Long Beach. I know. Um, and that's how we got this place, cause uh, we didn't have no place to go. And then her, um, my wife's uh, son, he lived four doors down that way from us. We're number five. He's in number one. He asked the landlord if we can uh, move in this place. It wasn't finished anything, so we like we didn't care. You know, we had no place to live. And then uh, I didn't have enough money for deposit or anything because. <clears throat> She was on this, uh, she didn't get no money from this building, so we're living off my, you know, my money. And, um, so we're living on like 750, <laughs> me and her. And this, this place was, uh, I think it was, um, what, was it, I forgot what it was, 500 or something? And then you had to pay 40, because we had the AC. Is the AC up there? Yeah, because we got the AC. Um, I paid an extra forty dollars or something, and then I was giving him uh, the landlord's name is Ron. Gave him like a uh, fifty dollars every month or something. You know, it was five hundred dollar deposit. So it took like six months to pay him off for the deposit. He was cool, you know. So I asked if I can, you know, help around the house or something, but. No, it's okay. But the whole point is, um, thank God, man. I mean, some of you guys might not be religious, but 
to all the things that we've been through. I mean, even all the way from Laos to be able to come here to America and be blessed here. Um, I got nobody else to thank but the Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, man, loving us. Speaking of, I've been watching, uh, if you guys never seen it, it's called uh, Highway to, uh, right here. It's called uh, Highway to uh, Heaven. I've been watching it, it's five seasons. It's really awesome, man, right here, let's see. You can find it. See? Highway to Heaven. Um, yeah. So I've been watching this with Michael Landon here. So, uh, yeah, just eat my food and uh, just watching Highway to Heaven. And uh, I mean, not, not saying you know, trying to pull religion or anything on you, but, but I just want to say, you know. But anyway, yeah, have you ever seen The Streets of Philadelphia? The movie with uh, Tom Hanks? Go watch it and. Um, <laughs> I don't want to make it, make it uh, you know, sad or anything, but anyway. But this meal is very, very tasty. That's why I already made it, right? I made it and I was thinking, mmm, I should cook and share this with you guys because this is so awesome. I mean, oh man. So, I put the description in there if you, you need the recipe, which is what? Steamed rice, garlic, mild sausage, and ground beef. That's it. Oh, some coffee or whatever drinks you want. Got some hot coffee. Alright, thanks for watching. See you guys next time. Enjoy.